Should you drop out of college? This is a complete guide on should you drop out of college to start your business? We're going to get into it. How the fuck do I go for it? Okay. So college has always been the safest way to build wealth, right? It's always been the safest way. And what I mean by the safest way, it's been proven that 90% of millionaires went to college, 88%. You know, it used to be overwhelmingly the logical option to go to college if you wanted to go ri to get rich, right? Like you would just go to college if you wanted to get rich. But, you know, things aren't as easy anymore. Things aren't as simple to do anymore. You know, college is more expensive. Jobs are paying less. You know, it's it's not as good of a solution as many may think. So I'm going to be covering exactly in this video, should you go to college, should you not, and my opinion on it. So let's go. So, so just a little bit about me before we get into it is I'm currently enrolled in college. And even though I make more than some of my professors through my various online businesses, I'll tell you the reason I haven't dropped out yet. I have already left high school with a year of college done. So anybody who's in high school right now, pay attention. So what I did was I took, they're called College Credit Plus classes where I'm from. I took classes at my high school that were dual enrolled through the colleges. And I essentially killed two birds with one stone. I got to take College Credit Plus classes and I got to take high school classes at the same time and it counted for both. So I basically finished my freshman year of college in senior year of high school for free. The the taxpayers pay for it and the school does. It I didn't have to pay a dollar out of pocket for that year, which is what's very very beneficial because I'm ahead of my classmates now and I saved a lot of money, which I recommend anybody who's in high school still do. So go Dual enroll if you're a senior or junior, definitely do that. And I know people who have gone way more college than me in high school done. I know people who got their associate's degree, which is two years done. I know people who got like three years done. So seriously, it's so worth it, guys. It's such a good time hack, such a good money hack. And the second, I see it as an insurance policy, meaning no matter what happens with my businesses, whether I lose it all or gain it all, whatever happens, guys, I'll always have a backup plan. I'll always have a thing to fall back on. I always have a degree to fall back on. If I need some money, I can go get a job at a company with my degree and they'll take me in, right? Because I they know I can uh, provide. So that's always a good thing to have for sure. And I'm actually on track to graduate two years early. And I mentioned how I saved a year of college in high school, but I'm going to tell you how I'm going to save another year and graduate two years early before my peers so you can implement the same thing if you're thinking about going to college and want to save time. So I am going straight through. So essentially, normally, people just go fall, spring, and then take summers off, right? So I'm going fall, spring, summer, fall, spring, summer. So I'm saving a bunch of time by taking classes in the summer. And essentially, I'm going to be graduating two years earlier than my peers. And my dad told me this, so I'm going to pass on this wisdom. He said, Scott, just get out of college as cheap as possible and as fast as possible. Those are the two keys. Get out as cheap and as fast as possible so you can begin working in the workplace or starting your business, doing whatever you need. Because I truly believe that college is important, but getting that real world experience, starting that business or going and working at that job is worth more than anything like that. But the real question you probably are asking me is, should I drop out? Should you drop out? Here's my opinion, guys. You shouldn't drop out unless you have a plan, a set in stone plan of how you're going to make your money. Whether that's a business, whether you're going to do a trade job, whatever it is, you need to have an exact plan of what you're going to do to make your money so you don't wind up homeless, boys. You don't want to wind up homeless. That's dumb. And... Also, don't drop if your career requires it. I don't even think I need to put this on here, but I did. If you're going to become a doctor, you need to go to medical school, whatever. You're going to become a lawyer. I'm sorry, you can't see this well. Lawyer. But you need to go to college, right? Just like any of those obvious careers, you need to go to college. You can't drop out. All I'm saying. But also, don't drop out if you're not making 
your expected yearly salary already coming out of college. So if you're going to be expected after you graduate college, like with your career you're pursuing, to make like 60, 70, say, out of a college, you should be making that before you drop out, in my opinion. I think that is the safest bet, and it makes it the most worth it. So you're already making that or more. So there's no marginal benefit of going to college, if you know what I mean. So make that amount of money you are going to make out of college before you drop out. And if you're good on all these, you're making enough money, you're working very hard, you know, all of that type of stuff. And college is placing a large, large time strain on your business or your money making methods, whatever you're doing to make money outside of college that you'd rather be doing than going to college. Drop out for sure, especially if you're paying for college yourself. College is expensive, guys. I'm not going to deny that. It's very, very expensive. So you don't want to rack up a bunch of debt, especially if you don't plan to use your degree. And most people say they want to drop out because they're just lazy at the end of the day, right? They say, I don't have time. I wrote time twice. That's my bad. (laughs) I don't have time to do college in a business. In 95% of cases, guys, probably 99% of cases, people are just not working hard enough. You know, if you're not working every waking hour of the day and still saying this, you're lying to yourself. Like, and I say this very cautiously because I don't want to fall into the hustle culture type of thing because I think that's a little overboard. But like, if you are literally not working all of your time to on your business, on your school, on yourself, your gym, dude, you have more time in the day. So don't say you need to drop out. Like if you're literally utilizing every second towards your goals and then you still don't have the rest of your time for your business and you're making enough money and all that stuff, I would say drop out. But don't drop out just because you think you have an, you don't have enough time, but you probably do. Make some time. I promise you do. I run three businesses in college. I still make a YouTube video every day and I go to class and do my homework. So I know you can do it. Trust me, especially if you've stayed this long to watch this, I know you're capable. So if you want to start a business or do something extra in college to make money, schedule your classes accordingly. This is probably one of the most important parts of this is online classes. Online classes is very, very important for this. So I have almost all online classes except one. All of my classes are online at Ohio State where I go and they're asynchronous, which means I have a due date at the end of the week and I just have to do them anytime during my time. I could do it in the middle of the night if I wanted to get those done before the due date. There's no live lectures I have to tune in for. There's no live anything I have to tune in for. It's just a very good way to get your schoolwork done at your own pace whenever you need to do it. There's nothing live you have to show up to. And if you do need to take an in-person class or two, which is going to pop up during your college career because you're going to have those hard classes that they won't let you take online, say your calculus, say your chemistry, say your computer science, whatever it is, schedule those as early in the morning as you can, really. Like 8 a.m. if if, uh, possible. And I say this, and I know it's hard to wake up early, but if you really, really want to achieve that life that you're dreaming of, you need to. Because you need to be spending the rest of the day working on your business or going to the gym or doing whatever extra you need to be doing to achieve that dream life. So, and I, I also like it because it just gets you up early and it gets you in the groove of things early. And then when you're done with class, you can go do whatever you need for the rest of your day. And you don't have to worry about going to class later. So, but doing this, you'll have to sacrifice fun time. Like you're going to have to sacrifice the video games, some of the parties, the bars, like it's not going to be fun. And your schedule is going to be simple guys. And, and let me tell you, this is my personal schedule right now. It's It sucks, but you got to do it if you really want to achieve things. Gym, class, business, eat, sleep, repeat. Sounds boring, guys, but you got to make sacrifices. And it's going to suck for a while. I'll admit, it does suck sometimes. But if you truly want a better life, and I'm assuming you do because you've stayed this far, and I'm assuming you're top of that 1% of ambitious people who are watching this, I know that you know that sacrifice will only be temporary. It will pay off in the end. Just trust me on this. If you want a better life, you must sacrifice for it so you can live that life the rest of your life and enjoy it. And just a side tangent, a little side note right here I'm going to get off on. If you do uh, pursue college, if you do choose to do that, don't pick a stupid major. Pick something useful that's going to make you some money if you don't end up 
uh, doing your business after college or something doesn't work out, make sure you can make some money, boys. Do something in engineering or tech or a medical field or business or law or something like that pays well. Like don't pick a stupid – I call it a jerk-off major. Don't pick a stupid like jazz music major or political science major. Don't pick something that's not going to get you paid, boys. At the end of the day, I'm all for doing what you love, but – I guarantee you, you're not going to be that happy if you're really, really poor, like, doing, like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what you even do with a jazz music degree, whatever. Just go play music if you're going to do jazz music. Don't go to school for it. So, at the end of the day, just to wrap things up, to summarize things quickly, only drop out, or drop out if you have a set-in-stone plan, right? You don't want to be just throwing it out there. You don't want to be throwing up luck. Get out there, make a set stone plan that you're going to follow to a T to make sure you achieve your goals so you don't go homeless. That's the goal. Don't go homeless, boys. That's going to be my new saying. And be smart about what major you pick if you do pursue college, if you stay in it. Pick a good major that's going to get you paid at the end of the day. That's what college is for. And pay attention to how you schedule your classes. Like I mentioned, schedule them early in the day if they're in person and try to get as many online classes so you can work on your business more. And and the last thing is work harder until you possibly can. And then drop out if you're making enough money, if you literally don't have any other time for anything. If you're spending every single t amount of time on your business in school, drop out. That's when you should. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That is it for me today. Subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it. I upload on here every single day of the week. And I would really love it if you would go to my social media, Scott RSG on Instagram and Scott Gleason Camp on Twitter to... Give me a follow so you can see a little bit extra hints of sauce. I post more on there. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next one.